how can you possibly believe that a couple of ragtag whippersnappers are going to yeah. take him down? Hello everybody and welcome to season two of Legend of Fox Marketer. We just finished our season one uh, reaction series. Yes. So ready. We're ready for season two. I'm ready. I'm fresh and ready to go. Rolling straight from season one straight into season two. So yeah, if you're new here, my name is Luna. This is my husband, Jared. I know a lot of stuff about Critical Role. Jared didn't know really, didn't know much about Critical Role before we started, but you watched all of season one, declared yourself a critter and the number one Kiki stan. Not and Keyleth, Keyleth though. is like absolute Good morning, queen. Everybody. Keyleth's so damn cute. Look at that face. I'm right here. She's so hopeful. <laughs> Get this um, in there, Kiralee. This one. Well, you need to make sure you take an obvious swig there when is. Keyleth comes on the screen. Hopefully there's more Kiki this season. More I'm, Kiki. I'm pretty keen about it. Um, hopefully they shine a spotlight on her. Um, get rid of Vex. <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta cut the intro yeah. there. We gotta cut the cut. intro. Vox Machina saved us from this threat. Yo, yes. Vox Machina! Oh, I've seen this in the trailer. Oh no. Ooh, the formation. <laughs> Flying V! Did we find out why she has dragon sense? No, you don't. You haven't found out yet. This is very World of Warcraft cataclysm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how like absolutely terrifying yeah. that would actually be. Like, bells, like where could you hide? Suddenly feel overdressed. Oh, let's get more. <laughs> what? I think so, buddy. Yeah, she's got a magical armor. But doesn't it cost like take like a while to don and doff the armor? Yeah, but nobody cares about that in D and D. Oh. Yikes. Takes all down the children. Quickly, come. Oh, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. <gasps> Get close to me. Yes, Alora. Yes. Daenerys. Yes. No, shush you. No. No. Oh. Right in front of him. It's really stopped to help that man. Yeah. As it should be. Oh, that looks awesome. That's so gross. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh the, our TV is so much bigger than our computer screen. Yeah. I can't plug it. it as well. Can't escape it. Oh, what? Magic missile? Yeah, that it looks like a magic missile, doesn't it? No, right. No, some kind three. of entrapment. She's no joke, man. Yes, Kima, get it. <gasps> what is that? Oh. Who's that? Oh, you're all right. Oh, creepy. Who could it have been? Everyone down. Oh, Gilmore. I love you so much. Dragons. We're taking together. <gasps> Who ever had a such a thing? Of. That's messed up, man. Man. I like that like they're like not that? shying back, though, from how actually brutal it would be. <laughs> like. Oh. Genocide. They're done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of funny, but also really gross. How good is that voice? It's kind of hot. Oh, it's your fave. Do it. <laughs> you have seen. Oh. oh. Wait, was this? This wasn't in the previous season, was yeah, it? Yeah, remember when they fought the first dragon in oh. his like cavern? Mm. People of Iman, Thordak demands Thordak. Submit to the Cinder King. Yowzers. Oh, that no, that's that's not something you recover from. It's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> like how yeah, how can you do anything against three dragons? Three dragons? Two dragons. <laughs> First door. Because they always have trouble with doors. See, the, see, this is the, the scale of power of these beings. Yeah. How can you possibly believe that a couple of ragtag whippersnappers are going to yeah. take him down? Well, Especially when they can whoop out that. Well, you're we going to have to convince me. Dragons are banded dragons together. Like four, five. I thought there was four. Yeah, four, I think. 
Lost kid. Is that Gilmore's? God. Oh no. no. Zero. Kill. Gilmore. Sean. Sexy Gilmore. Damn it, where is he? <laughs> He's too Hello? sexy to die. Yeah. That's the rule. Check everywhere. Well, no, sometimes if you are too sexy, you do die. Oh. He's here. I recognize that sexy hand anywhere. Don't move, old friend. I thought I'd lost you. I run right over, I run over. I is, he, is he awake? Is he alive? I've got my hand under his chin. Is he alive? Gilmore is looking pretty rough. Pike, 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 Pike Keyleth, like come over here. It's, it's going to be all right. I, um, yeah. Uh, here. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Um, Gil, <coughs> I'll just God. pull pull him into my lap. No, no, no. Another minute passes. It's moving his hair out. Hey, hey. <coughs> Gilmore slowly lulls the head back up and looks into your face and smiles instinctually. A little bit of blood at the corner of his mouth and just looks up at you. Well, it's always what I assumed I'd see in my last moments. <laughs> Bad day, huh? It's how like Kiki, I'd be Was jealous right now. Close. Just let me gaze into your brooding eyes before <laughs> I shuffle off this mortal coil. <laughs> You're not going to die, not today. Mm, get the healing pack. <laughs> Take it all. Go. All of these. Thank you very much. <laughs> As if they were like, oh, oh, ah, oh. Like this, oh, shit. Gilmore, does this place have a back door? <clears throat> In a matter sure of speaking, does. Everyone, draw near. We're scanning. Coming. Oh, that's interesting that that's how they're, yeah. Interesting. Oh, interesting. This change mm. changes. They're not going to be happy about that. Oh, he's back to brooding. To he had a, a brief moment of I happiness. So his eyebrows. You can't have anything but brooding with his eyebrows. Our weapons are useless. They're I agree. ancient and powerful. We don't see <laughs> I love they have to make they're ancient, just so you know. They're not <laughs> adults. They're not adults or young. <laughs> ancient. They called themselves the Chroma Conclave. Where are your parents? Hmm. Oh no. Here they come. Oh no. Yikes. I feel like I've said that 50 times, but the whole episode is so yikes. <laughs> These guys need the Geneva Convention, man. These are all non combatants. Oh man, look at this one. Oh, that's so cool. Such a cool design. Like I said, Whitestone. Make it happen, Kiki. Yeah, get through the tree. We need a plan. You can do it, Kiki! Oh, oh it's the got that vision. tree sight. Oh, fuck. Am I starting to get predictable? Starting to? <clears throat> to briefly interrupt this reaction video, right now I'm running a special offer over on my Patreon. Um, anyone who signs up to the $5 and the $10 tiers will get a handwritten postcard from me, or you can request one from Jared if no, you want. No, he's going to request that. <laughs> you don't buy it. You don't, you might. Get in there and I'll surprise him. Get, get in there and surprise him. Um, so yes, I'm trying to make uh, content creation my full-time job by the end of the year, and I really need your support to do so. Um, so you can head to patreon.com forward slash lubeoffin. If you can't support financially, but you still want to help out, the best thing to do is to like and leave a comment and share this video with your friends. Thanks. Back to the video. <laughs> that perception check is too strong. That's what I say to my legs. Come on, little legs. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> Portals almost open. Now. Oh, look oh, at the tree. Look, it's so nice. And then the back. Oh, they're gonna come really through. Yeah. Some stuff up. Where's Gilbert? I got him. Ah, the kids. No. There's gotta be some no. emotional. It's gotta be some emotional investment. Oh, aren't you a tough little tyke? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, oh. Okay. Maybe the Ashari tribes could help us. I need to go for my arm into anyone. Anyway. Mm, yes, let's go there. I agree. Is Vasselheim. <gasps> Vasselheim. The oldest, most defensible city Vasselheim, in the world. Vasselheim, Vasselheim. If you're looking for armies, 
Your best chance is there. Yeah, I would go over there. Vasselheim's run by religious orders. I've always wanted to go. <laughs> you don't, trust me. It's stuffy. <laughs> All right, this is where they're from. Fighting dragons? Please tell me you're joking. I'm a nobleman of Whitestone. Perhaps I could leverage diplomatic relations between our two cities. <laughs> Diplomacy? No, we're not strong enough for this. Now we're going all the way to Vasselheim? For what? To recruit more people to get killed? I have to do anything. I see what's going on here. I see it. What's, what's going on? I can't tell you. <laughs> tell me what's going on. I lost their no. damn minds. Yeah, I hate when I lose something. We're just a bunch of assholes lucky enough to get out alive. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Hey, look it. Town look like shit to we <laughs> We didn't save a town. We saved them. They were hopeless once. All they needed was someone to stand up and fight for them. Then they stood up too. I've never been to Vasselheim. My teleport spell only works if I'm familiar with the tree on the other side. I know the tree. You merely need to visualize it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know the tree. It's a great tree. You'll love we the tree. We go way back. Totally. That's all I need. She's so powerful. She's fine. Oh, God. That dragon was cool. Mm. After her. No, Borgo. Keep to the plan. Plunder this land and bring me its spoil. Show them the wrath of the Kuma Conclave. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whatever that voice actor is, they're very good at the Kuma Conclave. <laughs> the hot seas. So who was that blue dragon? What was his significance? Was I don't he think just he a had little his grunt? Name, yeah. Oh, the ones they already fought, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. David Tennant. Yeah. I don't <laughs> no. know. Do you want me to tell you? No. <laughs> well, we don't really know. I mean, we only know what we saw in the show, really. We only know what yeah. we saw. Yeah. That was great first episode, episode back. That one. was like... Non-stop. Yeah. The whole time. Damn. I feel like I was like... I like this dragons, the whole man. time. I just like dragons. Yeah. Dragons, dragons are cool. so cool. Yeah. Just dragons, man. Give me dragons. I mean, I don't care about dungeons. No, forget about it. Just dragons. I really loved all the action. I liked that they didn't shy away from just how destructive it was. But they also were not too gratuitous about it. Like, there's only so many times I can watch, like, families die before I'm like, you know what? It's okay, you know? I mean, it was pretty br Like, that acid rain. <laughs> That was awful. <laughs> it's just like, how do you, you can't. There's something about the acid rain that is just like so deeply disgusting compared to like, you know, it. blowing cool. up in a fire or something. So I don't cool. know. I'm sure it's just as brutal, but I guess because we don't see. And it's like coming from acid rain as her much. wings. Mm, they're like but... dripping. I love her voice. Yeah. 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 So good. Um, the big bad dragon. The Thordak. Horns. Thordak. Mm -hmm. the, the Cinder King. The Cinder King. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. that. Is that what he said? Yeah, he called himself a Cinder King. The Cinder King. Yeah, with his big ruby. Yeah? Mm. What's it do with that ruby? Mm. What's going on with mm. that? Because mm. I think maybe a weak spot, mm. perhaps. Maybe something you can capitalize on. So it's interesting um, with uh, some of those magic items that they took from Gilmore's shop. So the broom uh, that was like acquired later and it was a little bit of a, <laughs> a bit controversial ah. because um, I don't know exactly the situation, but I, it always gets brought up that um, uh, Vex actually stole it from a like guest character, I believe. Oh. The guest character had that as a magic item. Bit of, bit of, bit of PvP. Yeah, I think so. Did the guest not appreciate the theft? So it says here, she took it and lied about where it went. It was labeled Broomgate. She told him that it got lost into lava, but actually she had it. Uh. Lance Reddick is great as Thordak, yet Cree Summers. Um, Oh, is Liam one of them? And Matt. Oh, Matt's the acid one. Oh, right. Ah. I didn't realize. I mean. Matt is Umbrasil. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And me, my king. Western is teeming with gold. Yeah, because I knew Cree Summer is Raishan. Delicious cattle. Raishan enjoys the taste of fear. And, uh, yeah, Lance Reddick as Thordak. Thordak demands capitulation. Submit to the Cinder King. Mm. So does that mean that Liam is, um, what's the, the other one called? The Asker. But that group escaped with magic. 
So before next week's episode, what do you think we're going to see in Vasselheim? If indeed that is where we well, are. Well, it seems like Vex is and Vax's backstory is there because she was like pretty confident about what they might find stuffy. Mm, it's stuffy. <laughs> It's too stuffy. Well, you seem there. very confident in your prediction. I'm, I'm confident. I'm calling it. Um, they, or they spent a lot of time there. Maybe they weren't born there, but they spent a lot of time there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe yeah. that's the guy. Mm, maybe. Um, the Scanlon was being cagey. I'm wondering mm-hmm. what the deal with mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. kind of confident guy. Yeah. And now he's not. And what's the deal with Grog's axe? And what's it do with that, um, the, the, the evil sword? Evil sword. Evil sword's gonna come back to bite him. This is the hard thing about doing, well, I guess it was the same in season one. There's so many things I want to like talk about, but I can't because they're spoilery and I don't want to spoiler it for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, I think that was, yeah. Kraken kickoff to the season. Kraken? Kraken. Release the Kraken. Release, no, please don't. There are too many dragons already. Okay. Yeah. What if we release the Kraken on the dragons? Bye. <laughs>